Welcome back to my channel. This story was penned in AJ Bain. Rob Talbot, 76, a former owner of the Robert Talbot Ties label and founder and former president of Talbot Vineyards, on his 2002 MV Augusta F4750 Senna, as told to AJ Bain. I started motorcycling in 1964, against my parents' wishes, and bought my first, a Honda, while I was a student at Colorado College, because cars weren't allowed for freshmen. I raced bikes for five years, motocross and winter hill climbs. I put this passion on ice while I raised a family, but got back into it in the 1990s. I bought one bike, then another. I love long rides. I rode all over the western states and crossed the country to Nova Scotia. When I was moving out of my Thai business, in 2011, I rode a BMW 1200 GSA through 35 states, almost 14,000 miles, so I could thank customers personally for their patronage through the years. That same year, I decided to start a private motorcycle museum. I found a piece of land, and the Moto Talbot collection opened in 2015 in Carmel Valley, California. It has about 180 motorcycles from 17 countries. There are bicycles, a B-17, bomber engine to honor my father's service in World War II, and a lot of Italian motorcycles, as I love the design of Italian bikes. Only one of the 180 bikes in my collection do I keep in my living room, and that is the 2002 MV Augusta F4750 Senna. MV Augusta is a world championship winning mark that started building road and racing bikes in Italy in the early post-war years. I probably have 20 of them in my museum collection. The F4 was a groundbreaking bike that came out in 1998, designed by a mastermind named Massimo Tamburini. The bike has been called the most beautiful motorcycle in the world. It was featured in an exhibit called The Art of the Motorcycle at the Guggenheim Museum in New York, and I first saw it in a book of the same name from that show. This was years before I had the idea to start a motorcycle museum. It was because of this bike that I began to have an immense appreciation for motorcycle design. Technically, the F4 was amazing. It had a double overhead cam four-cylinder engine, four valves per cylinder, and a fancy ignition. I eventually bought one around 2011. The 750 Senna Edition F4 is something different. It's an F4 on steroids. MV Augusta built a special edition as a tribute to Ayrton Senna, the Brazilian Formula, one world champion who died in 1994. All kinds of things were done to make it faster. A friend let me ride one in 2018, and I immediately started looking for my own. It is an extremely rare bike. Only 300 were built, and not many came to the US. It took me three years to find one. It was in Sedona, Arizona. I bid on it, bought it, and my wife and I immediately got in our pickup and headed south. I carried my leathers, leather riding suit, and helmet with me. We picked up the bike and I rode it that day all the way back to California. When I got on the on-ramp to the interstate, I floored it. This motorcycle could break the speed limit in first gear, and there are five more. The exhaust pipes, I once read, were tuned by a musician in Italy, a fact I believe to be true. I thought, holy mackerel, this is going to be a ride. And it was. To ride comfortably, you have to be a jockey. You should be 25 years old and weigh 150 pounds. I am not any of that. Top speed is reportedly over 170 miles per hour, but I have not taken it that fast. My best riding buddy, Greg Peterson, who has two F4 Senna's with license plates Ayrton and Senna, and I have ridden these bikes through California's Mammoth Lakes and all the way to Mount Shasta on back roads. I rode it almost 5,000 miles. Then, I took the battery out and put it in my living room, for now. Please, subscribe, comment, like, share, and follow for more content. Please, support my channel by sending it to Cash App, Dollar Director, 327. Thank you for your gift it is greatly appreciated. Thank you for watching.